So to get started, of course, I am uh, Crystal Ramsey Dice, uh, past U.S. President and now um, the Director of Member Services for JCI USA. And we had the great opportunity because a chapter in New Mexico had reached out to Disney Institute and had some discussions with them regarding having them come and participate and do some training in their communities. Um, the Disney Institute um, works with other chamber organizations that so never worked with the JCs before. And it was a great opportunity for us to kind of have a discussion and start talking about how we could bring them to other cities across the U.S. So I did have the opportunity um, to go and meet with Paula before we left for our national cruise and have some conversations with her on how we can get this opportunity brought to all of you. Um, tonight she'll walk you through the process of what it takes to bring this to your community. And this is a... Um, cost training. So basically what you're doing is you're bringing the training into your communities. You're being the sponsor of the training. Um, they have a great um, partnership with universities. So they have you reach out to different universities and they offer the university free training. So the university will offer you space. Um, if there's not a university in your community, of course, you can host the training wherever you like. That's just a, an added benefit so you don't have to worry about uh, paying for space or having issues that way. Um, it is a fundraising opportunity, like I said, and she will walk you through the cost of having somebody come out and then the opportunity of how you can um, make funds by charging that um, ticket price. Um, they also highly recommend getting vendors and having a vendor space uh, during your training, and all of that money would go back to you as well, so you can determine what you want to charge for vendor space and who you would have come out and how all that would work. Um, she will go through a lot. Hi. Lot. Hi. <laughs> Yay. So I will turn it over to Paula. <laughs> and she could go through this e-brochure. Um, I'll click through it, Paula, whenever you're ready to get started. And um, you can start sharing with your folks. Oh, perfect. And I think I can drive the brochure, right? I think so. Yes. It's ready to go. Okay. Perfect. So, hi everybody. So, uh, my name is Paula Keen. I'm an account manager with Disney Institute. And what I manage are our local uh, sponsorship programs. So, just give you a little bit of background about Disney Institute. We are part of the Walt Disney Company, and we are the department that develop professional development programs. And basically, our programs give attendees the opportunity to benchmark the Disney uh, principles and philosophies. And how we share that content is we will share a context-neutral business insight that applies to any industry in any organization. We then show a, a Disney example to talk about here's how we do it at Disney. And the idea is to get the participants thinking about how can they take these um, learnings, these key learnings, and adapt them back into their organization. So the way the sponsorship programs work is we work with local organizations like yourself, chambers, um, or accredited colleges and universities to become a sponsor of our program. And as a sponsor, you market the event. We'll supply tools, and I'll go more into that in a moment, but you market the event and sell tickets to the program. So there is a way that you can fundraise uh, through those ticket sales. And then if you partner with a local college or university, there's a way that you could receive some, uh, or they could receive some complimentary faculty and staff training. So let me see if I can I'm clicking on begin brochure, but Crystal, it's, I don't think it's letting me drive. Oh, was that me, Crystal, or did you, did you do that? That was me. I'll, I'll drive it for you, no problem. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, so, uh, sorry, can we click on the next one? I already kind of covered that about Disney Institute. Why Disney Institute? So, Disney Institute is um, accredited with National Association of State Boards of Accountancy, NASBA, and the American College of Healthcare Executive, so ACHE. Um, so, if somebody's looking for credits for these courses, we are accredited with those organizations. Now, some of the um, uh, schools that we've worked with have also offered credit for their organizations, and that's fine. They do have the opportunity to do that, or you have the opportunity to do that. You just have to make it clear in the marketing materials that, um, that you would be the ones given that credit and not Disney Institute. But I'll let you know that it is an accredited program. Let me go on to the next one.
And the next, as it flicks over, I think there's a, a delay in it going over, but um, it basically just sums up what, what I talked about in the summary about how you can generate revenue for, you, for your organization. Um, it's an opportunity to co-brand with the Disney Institute. We do only allow one sponsor at any time in any particular area. Uh, we typically say three months is plenty of time to market the program. So what we mean by that is um, we will not put another sponsorship or Disney Institute public program within a 30-mile radius three months prior to your program. So we do protect um, each and every uh, sponsor. Um, there's an opportunity to reach out to local organizations. They do have an opportunity to co-ground on those um, marketing materials. And we can talk a little bit more um, about the marketing materials a little bit later on, too. So on the next slide, it kind of talks about the different topics that we offer. So the programs that we offer are each one day in length. And the programs, um, you can see there, there's four different topics to choose from. So leadership excellence, employee engagement, quality service, they're all individual topics. And then we have a unique topic called business excellence. And business excellence, again, is a one-day program. But instead of focusing on just an individual uh, topic, it's a high-level overview of all those topics combined. Um, so for example, if somebody's looking to get more of an, an overview about how do we support quality service? Business excellence kind of talks about all the support mechanisms um, through that through that chain and through that program. Um, and we can click on to the, to the next one. So we come out to your location. So you are responsible for uh, providing the venue for us and also the AV equipment needed for our program. Um, typical conference items, things like projector, projector screen, things like that. Um, and then also, because it's a full day program, you are responsible for the food and beverage throughout the day. And what that typically is, is just a continental breakfast and then a, um, a light lunch. Um, when we say a full day program, just to give you an, an idea, um, a typical program, a uh, start time can be flexible, but a typical program from 7.30 till 8 a.m. is breakfast and registration. Um, the program runs 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., and that allows for a mid-morning and mid-afternoon break of about 30 minutes uh, each. Um, so one of the things that we offer to you as, um, as a sponsor is access to a marketing website. And on that website, all the tools that you need are already created and designed for you. So there's things like a newspaper ad, press release, there's marketing templates. Do you log on to the um, website, you personalize those materials, and you have the opportunity of sending things out either electronically or included as part of your program fees. We give you up to a $500 budget that through us you can order printed items. So if you want to do some kind of mailing campaign, for example, there's a postcard template on there, you would log on to the site, you would personalize those materials, we would print them here at Disney, bulk ship them directly to you, and then you'd be responsible for mailing them out uh, to the local area. And there's also um, an option for name badges and the certificates for the day of the program as, as well. So on this page, it talks a little bit about the benefits of marketing participants. So you also have the opportunity to approach local companies and businesses and give them the opportunity to co-brand on those marketing materials. They can put their uh, company name and logo on there. And also, the day of the event itself, as long as they're outside of the presentation room, they can host a booth or a table and market during breaks and registration uh, time. You get to decide what the value of them appearing on those materials is, and then um, charge them a fee, if you like, for the privilege. Any revenue that you raise through those uh, marketing participants, 100% of it stays with you, the sponsor. None of that revenue would come back to us here at, at Disney. And all we ask before the marketing materials uh, go out to the public that we would just have final approval, and we're just making sure that our guidelines are being followed. And when it comes to those marketing participants as co-sponsors, um, we're looking to make sure it's not somebody we would consider a competitor or somebody that would hurt our uh, family brand image. Um, and then the next slide talks about um, if you partner with a local college or university. And this is something we only offer to um, uh, educational partners. So if you partner with a college or university, um, and we'll talk about the, the pricing, but if this is available on the, the second tier pricing, 
But if they help you, they could be the sponsor themselves, they could help you market the event, or they could provide the venue for you. A lot of people use it to get the venue at low or no cost. But if they do any of uh, one of those three things, we will offer to them a 90-minute complimentary training session for up to 200 faculty and staff members. It's hosted the morning after the full day uh, program, and they can choose any one of our individual topics. So they can um, you know, decide from leadership, employee engagement, or service. And the value of that program is about $20,000. But again, it's something that a lot of people use to bargain with to get that, that venue space at, at low or no cost. And then the next slide just kind of summarizes up everything that, um, that we talked about. And one of the questions that we often get um, about the meeting facility is, you know, what's the room set up like? What does that typically look like? So our ideal setup is half round or rounds of six so that everybody stays to the front because it is a full day presentation. Um, however, we can adapt our programs to be auditorium style or classroom style. Um, so we, we really can be very adaptable with our programs. And then the next slide um, just again just kind of highlights the arrangements, the meal functions that we talked about, and also the um, AV equipment. And in this uh, brochure, I'm sure Crystal um, can send this, or I can absolutely send this out to everybody as well. You'll see there's a uh, hyperlink. You can't really see it on the presentation. But for example, um, when it talks about the AV equipment, it says what the complete equipment will be found here. There's actual live links that you can click on. And that will open a window that will um, give you a list of the AV that we need. And also on that program page, when it talks about the different topics, if you click on the program name, it will open another uh, window that will give you an overview of what we cover throughout the day as well. And then um, finally, on the next page, it talks about pricing. So there are two different options to choose from. Um, the way that the ticket prices work is you get to sell tickets to the local community, and the actual ticket price you get to decide. But to give you a guide price, we would recommend about a $400 price point. Uh, but ultimately, you decide a lot of people will do a, a member special or an early bird special. And again, we, we leave that up to you. So you can see there's two different tiers of uh, pricing to choose from. So the lowest tier is 42,000 up to 150 people. And then if you had any additional participants, you would pay $250 per person. So just to explain how that works, let's say that you did sell the ticket for $400 a piece. And the day of the program, you had our average attendance of 150 people. Purely in ticket sales, that would be $60,000 in revenue. You would pay Disney $42,000 for the program, and the remaining $18,000 you would keep. So anything above and beyond our fees, you get to keep. Uh, the second tier, the $45,000 up to 200 people, and then the $175 per person, it's this second uh, tiered level that would include that 90-minute faculty and staff session. And how the tiers work is when you go to contract with us, at that point you would just tell us uh, which tiered pricing you would like to choose. Now for the program, there will be two facilitators that will fly in to present your program. You are responsible for their travel expenses. And what that includes is round trip coach class airfare for two facilitators. And just for safety and security, we have to book their airfare. Uh, you're responsible for their accommodation, uh, so two rooms for two nights. You are more than welcome to, to book and reserve that. And then finally, there is a daily per diem per facilitator for each day that they are uh, out of the office, and that is at the rate of $125 uh, per day. And that will cover their car hire and any other incidentals outside of the uh, program itself. So that's it on a very um, high level. I know that was a lot of information, and we can I can absolutely email you this brochure so you all uh, have a copy as, as well. But are there any questions about any of that?
Okay, Paula, we have some questions. Uh, okay. Uh, they want to know, is there a down payment that has to be made up front? Yeah, great question. So um, when you sign an agreement with us, there are no um, deposits or fees due at that time. The way it works is based on whichever tier pricing you choose, you would pay us a 50% deposit at least 30 days prior to the program, and the remaining 50% is due at least seven days prior to the program. So we do ask for the revenue up front, but not until you get closer in so you have the opportunity to sell tickets first before you pay us any uh, revenue. And Rachel's asking, how do we download the presentation? I, if you're talking about the one we just did, Rachel, I'll send the link out to all of you. Um, I just need to make sure I get all of your names before you um, get off of the thing. If you ha if you didn't register beforehand and just got on the webinar, um, I'll take your names now. And I can send you this link if you're talking about this presentation um, so that you can share it. And then we'll also send you the link to the brochure. And another question, Paula, is what types of businesses do you typically target or ask for, or what types of businesses ask for this training? Yes, yeah, so typically it's probably small to medium-sized um, organizations in your uh, local area. The reason why we do the sponsorship program community events is really for a need and an ask for um, our participants that either couldn't, weren't large enough organizations to work with us directly in a, in a private capacity and or couldn't afford the time or the budget to travel uh, on property here at, at Disney to do those, those programs. So it is typically the small, medium-sized uh, companies that, that do attend. Uh, we have seen some larger um, organizations participate in these. If they sent um, different attendees, um, but really the small, medium-sized companies and anybody the nice thing about these programs, it really applies to any industry. So, um, yes, we're a hospitality um, industry, but this can apply to, we do a lot of work with healthcare organizations, manufacturing organizations. So, it really can apply to a, a wealth and breadth of, of different um, organizations and industries. Any other questions? Um, we got, can we have access to the audio of this conference webinar? Yes, we're recording it. Um, so uh, I will send that to Katie and it will be posted to our YouTube channel by tomorrow and everybody can have access to this so they can share it with their members and their folks and, and listen to it again if they like. Um, then there was a question, can multiple chapters co-sponsor the event? Yes, absolutely. So the more partners you have in the community, um, often the easier it is to market and get the word out that Disney are coming. So um, yes, absolutely. You can do it with multiple um, chapters. And sometimes um, we've had changes to a regional event and, and two or three of them have, have hosted together. So yes, you can absolutely do that. Any other questions? I guess if we don't have any more questions, thank you so much, Paula, for your time. And I am uh, going to grab everybody's email address. If you put it in the question section, I'll grab it from there. If not, I'll grab it from the database if I don't already have it. 
and I will make sure that you guys this evening before I log off get a copy of the brochure and a copy of this presentation. And um, if you do have questions, um, Paul, I'm going to go ahead and copy you on the email so if they have questions they can reach out to you directly. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And if you, um, and a lot of times I know that sometimes it's more than one person's decision. So if you want me to go through this um, again and talk through other people or go through and ask, answer questions, I'm more than happy to, to do that. Please just, just let me know. And as far as just let you know the information that I shared tonight and the pricing, um, this is valid for programs that are both booked and hosted by September the, the 30th. And we typically say three months is um, a good amount of time to market the program. So if you were interested in doing it and hosting it this, in this fiscal year, um, there's definitely time to do so. And we did have one quick question. Is there a way to get a list of past events that have happened in their regions? Uh, yes. In fact, if you email me so I know what region you are from, I can definitely look that up for you. I and mean, then if you want to see where we're, we're going as far as the future state and who we're currently working with, um, and I believe it's in, at the end of the brochure, you'll have my contact information, um, and there should be yes, there's a link to DisneyInstitute.com. So if you go on our DisneyInstitute.com website um, and look up the calendar of events, it will have a list of all upcoming programs. Anything that is not being hosted at a Disney property, those are those sponsorship programs. So you can see who we're working with and, and um, what states and, and cities that we are uh, currently going to. All right. I think that's all the questions. Thank you guys so much for your time, Paula. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I'll get you that email out this evening so you have a copy of all of this stuff. And if you have more questions, definitely reach out. Uh, Paula is very accessible and available so that if you're interested in moving forward that um, you can get started and get moving forward. Or if you need her to talk to your boards or additional members have questions that she can get on and, and have those conversations with you as well. Yeah, and I would just like to say thank you for everybody for taking the time to to learn more about Disney Institute and Crystal, especially thank you for, for setting this up and giving me the opportunity. Oh, absolutely. We are very excited for the opportunity to work with you. So this will be amazing. Yes, I hope I hope we come and visit quite a few of you very soon. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Trisha said thank you for sharing with all of us. So uh, thank you so much uh, again. And, and uh, I hope all of you have a good evening. Thank you, you too.